Why did so many people misunderstand 500 Days of Summer? The subversive take on romantic comedy literally tells us from the very beginning that this is not a love story. That Tom has an unrealistic rom-com fantasy view of romance stemming from early exposure to sad British pop music and a total misreading of the movie, The Graduate. The movie is critical of how Tom ignores everything about Summer that doesn't fit into his delusion, including the fact that she doesn't want to be in a relationship. But that didn't stop audiences from sympathizing with Tom and blaming Summer for not loving him back. Movie and TV audiences have been long conditioned to root for so-called nice guy who thinks he deserves the girl basically because he really wants her badly. And even though the film calls out his more toxic mental habits, the audience is made to identify with Tom because it's his inner worlds we're given access to. Plus, he reflects belief and romantic assumptions that, let's be honest, many of us are guilty of. In the end, Tom meeting Autumn is played as a happy ending, suggesting he'll eventually find the right girl like he deserves. But what this ending really shows is that he hasn't learned anything.